Hello, I'm the Wandering Newbie, and it's time for more Record Keeper. Today, we have the FF10 event, Dream of Despair, and also... I'll just do this real quick. A farewell to, uh... Anniversary. Anniversary will be going away in about, like, 18 minutes. <laughs> so, farewell to Anniversary, farewell to Orb. But for now... We have other stuff to be doing. Uh, this event is highly Seymour focused. That's about it. Okay, so first up is the A Aeon Rush. And like I said, a lot of these fights in this, uh, this first set are super, uh, vulnerable to magic lore, so it's a very good one to bring. Yeah, if I, <laughs> Pain is the only knight in realm. Usually I do the very subtle gimmick of only using, like, characters you play as in the game that the event is for. Unless, you know, I have to finagle things. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I snuck Pain in for that good, that good knight. Only Knight with Sharp Shooter. Pain is such a good character. Pain is an underrated character, I yell, from the top of the hill. Ah, Bahaman. Mm, little bit of foreshadowing. Not the last time we'll be seeing him tonight. Yeah, pain having like oh God, being able to hit like every element except for darkness is very powerful. And like every element except for darkness well. Not not like mediocre at it. And of course she is the water swordsman, but that's a whole nother thing. Alright. Uh time to shadow realm a fool. So again, you know, I'll just show this off real fast before I hit the button. Uh, aside from Desperado there from Mortabody, which you know is easily dealt with with this the power breakdown on him. 
uh, a simple magic lore in place will draw almost all the spells from Seymour. He cannot touch you. I stand corrected. Thank you, AI routines. I misread you. Or maybe that was Mort. I didn't really look at Mort too much. Anyway. Okay, yeah, that's more than body doing that. Look at this animation, it doesn't make any fucking sense. That's not how beams work. That's not how it works, Dina. He would have cut through the world. I mean, the funny thing is, comparatively, Cloud's moves have been very tame. Like, what what is the most Cloud has done in his things? He's driven a motorcycle into somebody. That's about it! when they decided to pull the kid gloves off on these these fights they, they feel like they do a lot of damage comparatively Boss that can be poisoned. I've done it. Fight me, coward. Let the venom seep through you. Oh yeah, I've heard about that, that Siren, you can poison Siren in, uh, what's it called, uh, God, Magicite, there we go, I got it, I got there eventually. Um, Poison finally has a use. We found it, secretly, Holy Magicite is the poison, the one they use poison against. And I'm a fool. I should have let him die to poison. Damn, what am I doing? I'm messing up all over the place.
So, as being the theme with these, uh, Huh. A whole lot of chatting. <laughs> uh, but, as has been the theme with these boss fights, almost completely neutered by, uh, magic lore. Literally can't do a dang thing. Because everything he does is either a very strong single target spell or a uh, chain single target. Outside of, of course, Ultima, which is like the phase changer. That's why, you know, you still want to dispel and a magic breakdown on him. He does have his little gimmick uh, that he had when he was an ultimate fight uh, where he will switch after a couple turns, or will uh, dispel if you hit him six times. Which, that would be five right there for me, so now I sit. But yeah, see? But frankly, Seymour here moves so slowly. Fuck it. So weird thing because his uh, transi transitional moves has to be on his turns. Um, it is possible to use six abilities and trigger the transition status a second time on him. We may just do right here. Uh, the thing is, he can't cast Dispel again. He's literally scripted to cast Dispel only once per phase. So if I do enough damage to cause him to go into transition mode again, um, he'll just. Ah. Uh, he did actually hit it though. Let's see, that would be. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Ah, that is ice, isn't it? Got him. Let this motherfucker up. But yeah, as you can see right here, just bring magic lore, he literally can't do anything.
All right, let's get the debuffs up. Now, the Sandworm's whole gimmick is that it will eat somebody and then uh, will regurgitate them if you hit him with a, an ice or water move. And uh, they always regurgitate with slow. So, that's why I brought a haste to patch fix somebody's slow. And yep, see? So because that's charging up, we'll get that a little bit of a charge. And hit a haste on Riku. And yeah, the whole reason why I said, like, impossible to do solo is because if somebody is swallowed and they're the only person in your party, Fight ends. That's it. You can't win. The game knows it. Won't even let you try. But that's it. That's the boss's whole gimmick. So at that point, it's just a matter of wailing on it with the proper maneuvers. And uh, yeah, you're pretty much solid. It's just a slug fest of a fight. The boss, I don't think, has any really rough hitting moves. Might have a couple gravity attacks. That's about it. We'll see if it uses those, and then I can confirm <laughs> if it has a gravity attack or not. But I was working on uh, iffy, iffy information. Seems that its defense might have gone up. Unless, does it purge stat buffs when it gets devoured too? Oops. I also slam, uh. Slam Titus in there without purging his, uh. Soul Breaks. But that's it. A pretty simple boss. Alright, time to take a fight seriously. Take a fight seriously in that I forgot to cast the Roaming Warrior. Whoops. No, so yeah, I'm a big fan of this fight because it made me go, I should dust off Garland. Let's, let's bust out Garland for this. Hell yeah. The Knight. The original Knight.
knocking, yeah, knocking people down since day one. Oh, that was a beefy move. Why was that so beefy? Okay. Noted. Valfor is not fucking around. Okay, we should be in a much better situation now. That was very scary. Still in a bit of a scary situation. I think if I was running this again, um, if I do end up running this again, I may run the, uh, the drain moves instead of the, the just more damage moves. Jesus, that hits like a truck. Shins. My good friend. Died for us again. Bring out Kermel Shins 3.0. Yeah, holy crap. Uh, Valfour hits way harder than I was expecting. Lord. So this is probably going to be pretty rough. All things considered. <laughs> like, just, eh, maybe, maybe this is going to be hard. Uh, we will see. Now, I want to say that Sentinel Grimoire actually does nothing for me. Um, I'll be curious to see in the long run. Uh, because I believe the good boy here uh, pierces a lot.
I've always thought this is one of the, the, the strongest songs from the soundtrack. Like, just bar none. Uh, Battle of the Aeons is the best song from the 10 soundtrack. Should be hitting transition attack pretty soon. You're not ready yet, so it's just gonna be whoever is up recast the roaming warrior. Uh, if the dispel actually works the way I think it does. All right. Hell yeah! If you dodge the dispel, you don't get dispelled. It works exactly the way I think. Different Bahamut. It counts. Also, I am glad that they do use the canonical correct version of uh, FF10 Bahamut, and that is Bahamut, but King Wizard Bahamut. He casts all the spells. Because the, uh, the final phase of this is hell. No, yeah, I really like the, the Tens Bahamut a lot. Like, I've always liked this super crazy one. Also, and this is to go beyond, so on and so forth. spell physical or magic it's gravity so I think it I, I don't know what it counts as here it comes hoofa yeah yeah This one doesn't count turns down. It <laughs> it counts turns down by just being like, mm, yeah, but you go fuck yourself. Jesus!
Yeah. Bahamut Phase 3 is absolutely done with my bullshit. Get him! I'm you, but better. Woo! Yeah, that X-Death SSB isn't an in-dark, it's a mag resistance up for the party. It's very nice, very useful. Yeah, I had one turn left, literally, in any which way, one turn. Luckily, this is easily rectifiable. One million kill completion rewards to uh, two twenties. I don't think so. I feel like I remember something like that. Was that who you healed? Like, there's a whole thing, um, Like, I could have given Titus a Blitzball instead of the sword, but the sword gives him a 20% attack boost, or elemental boost. Uh, whereas... Blitzball would give him, like, only a slight uh, attack boost on his shooter moves. Uh, the blitz ball on Waka. Like, I could have thrown that on Titus to make his shooter moves hit, you know, harder. But his sword in synergy gives him water boosting, which I think yeah, evens out, if not is better. entirely too hard. Yeah. I think that's the footnote when I do the write up. I think the big big footnote is that um bring self healing. Do yourself a goddamn favor and bring self healing to this fight. Uh the boss just hits unreasonably hard. Died like he lived. 
Racist. Yep, there we go. Easy enough. I fixed it. If you look real closely and like sort of take it at like a certain angle. He almost looks like he's doing the Yamcha pose, just like mirrored. Gauge Annihilation Drive. Debuff. Debuff. None of you are free of sin. Whoop. Trying to figure out how I want to fire these out. get the debuffs off first because again he pierces so doesn't really do me a whole lot of good they made it I love that animation Yeah, Echo is like weirdly versatile. She's kind of like Mog in that sense. So I like her. Eh, fuck it. You can just keep debuffing. It's time. hit really hard, don't you? Like, all the time. Almost max level heal. Whatever. She's good. I think it's about that time to do the move. But first, we have to activate level two.
Yeah, further beyond, so on and so forth. Well, I am about, about to launch a spirit bomb, so this is accurate. Fight me. That was in case anybody got dispelled. Still hits like a truck. <laughs> this one's actually kind of rough. Oh no! Wait. Yes. Or. Like, getting better is just more or less, like, applying proper strategies to fights. Things like debuffing, synergizing, uh, synergizing buffs and things like that. Mobs are tough. <laughs> yes. So... That was it for the FF10 event. Next time, things go the way they I think they should. We should be hitting, finally, the Mobius event after like four months. <laughs> so I'll see you then.